to my channel and welcome to a brand new wake up wednesday if you are here for the very first time my name is nissy t and i am a content creator a speaker and an entrepreneur which is basically what you see all on this page it's like a big mix of my life me being a wife being an entrepreneur creating a brand but also focusing on empowerment which is what wake up wednesdays is all about and also branding and social media marketing and all that good stuff which is also something i am very very interested in but anyway today's wake up wednesday is a good one so as always grab a drink grab a snack grab whatever it is that you need to get and stay tuned beautiful people this one is very very simple and i want to dive straight in because i want to make this nice short and sweet start making demands now you might be thinking let's see what the hell are you talking about making demands of what of who of where guys start making demands of every area of your life now we know that when someone demands something that means that it's no longer a negotiation that means it's no longer a question that means it's no longer oh you can maybe do this thing for me or maybe give this thing to me or not if you don't want to a demand is i am expecting this thing to be done or given or whatever it is that you are demanding for and there is no negotiation guys it is time for some of us to start making demands over our life guys your life has been going left and right up and down one minute you're good the next minute you're not the next minute you're doing this the next minute you're not you feel like instead of things going forward you keep going backwards guys it is time to start making a demand of your life there comes a time where you have to look at your life and say do you know what i am no longer going to be negotiating with self-sabotage i'm no longer going to be negotiating with mediocrity i'm no longer going to be negotiating with the naysayers i'm no longer going to be negotiating with imposter syndrome i'm no longer going to be negotiating with depression or anxiety i am no longer going to negotiate with those things anymore i'm not giving them space to negotiate with me i am now demanding that my life is different i'm gonna make a demand of myself and of my life that i'm gonna achieve the things that i want to achieve that i'm gonna grow this business and it's gonna increase and i'm gonna make profit and revenue that i'm gonna go on and do all the things that i want to do but you have to demand it guys you can't negotiate you can't give room or space for there to be like a maybe or a perhaps Either you're going to do it or you're not. Either you want it bad enough or you don't. Start making a demand over your life. Guys, start making, guys, start making demands over the expectations. Start making demands over your friendships. Guys, we're in 2022. If you guys have been following me for a while, that means that a lot of you guys are probably, you know, older now. You're probably in your mid-20s, maybe in your 30s. Because some people have been following me since, you know, I was at uni and we've grown together and of course there is always more for us to learn we will never get it completely right we are constantly growing and evolving but guys it is 2022 are you not tired of having friendships that drain you are you not tired of having friendships that don't edify you and add anything to you are you not tired of having friendships where you always feel like you're in the middle of drama are you not tired of having friendships that bring nothing to you but headache don't you want peace for your life do you want to have great flourishing relationships with people that is based not just on super superficial or surface level stuff, whether it be because you guys look cute on Instagram? Don't you want substance? And I'm not even just talking about relationships like a partner. I'm talking about even friendships, guys. Don't you want friendships that are of substance? Friendships that... You know, the type of friends that push you into really being who you've been called to be. The type of friends that pour into you and that don't tear you down. The type of friends that encourage you and help you and that motivate you to do better. Don't you want that for your life? Well, it's time to start making demands. You need to start demanding more from your friendships. I know that you've gotten so used to being that friend that's like, oh, well, I just don't demand anything because it's just like, you know, if I don't demand anything, then at least I'm not going to be disappointed. No, that's a lie. Because then you're basically saying that I deserve. Because when you, when you make demands, guys, in your life, you're basically expressing and making it clear as to what you believe you deserve. You're basically telling yourself, you're telling the world, you're telling God, you're telling, you're telling everything around that this is what I deserve. I am deserving of success. I'm deserving of wealth. I'm deserving of greatness. I'm deserving of leaving behind a legacy. I'm deserving of doing something impactful on this earth. I'm deserving of changing people's lives. I'm deserving of all the things that I've always dreamt of. When you actually start making demands of your life, guys, it's like you reach a different level of 
like mental, emotional and spiritual capacity. Because now all of a sudden, all the things that seem super hard here, all of a sudden, because you've upgraded your thinking, they become a lot more easier to attain and to do. And they become the norm because you expect more from yourself. Some of you guys have, have such low expectations of yourself that your standard is here. Not even expectations about a man. Because a lot of you guys will have high, high expectations for the type of man that you want. But then you have low expectations of yourself. How does that make sense? Please tell me. But you will have these low expectations. Low expectations because you're not making demands. You're not saying that there's no negotiation. This is the way that I'm going to be. This is the way that things are going to go. And this is the life that I'm going to live. You are not making demands over your life. And then some of you guys are not making demands over your friendships. How can it be, guys, that you are so dedicated and committed to your friend or friends? And yet, because you have not established a relationship whereby you both give to one another. Because that's what relationship is, guys. It's relational. It's a connection. Relationships don't work when it's just one person. The whole point of a relationship is because there is something happening in the midst of either two people or three people. But there has to be more than one. It cannot just be you. You need to start making demands over your life, guys. Over your friendships over your relationships. Now I'm talking about romantic relationships. And I'm talking now to the opposite type of people. Some people that have, there are some people who have high standards, which if you watch my um, chit chat, get ready with me that I did not too long ago, you will know what I talk about having high standards. I don't dismiss them. I think that everyone should have standards. Absolutely. But sometimes there's some people whose standards are a bit too high. And it's like, you don't, you don't want a partner. You don't want a husband. You don't want a boyfriend, you literally just want a puppet, someone that you can control and craft and mold into like this weird idea of what a man or a partner should be. But now I'm even talking to the people that don't even have standards. Guys, it's start, Ugh, please. You just go for anything, as long as they crack a smile at you. And it could be male or female, by the way, vice versa, right? As long as they crack a smile at you, they tell you that you look good, your shape up is nice, they say that you dress well, your hair looks cute, you're beautiful, you're handsome. As long as they say those things, bingo, I'm in. I'm in a relationship with them. Start making demands over your relationships because we're not doing bare minimum relationships anymore. We're not doing that in 2022, no. And if you want some help and advice with that, please go and check out different people. There's people like Breeny Lee, my good sis Breeny Lee, who gives some fantastic advice, especially to young women today, about the standards that we should have and about how dangerous it can be to lower our standard. But some of you guys don't even have standards at all. You're a young woman who's striving for greatness or who has the desire to do something with herself. And yet when it comes to men, ugh, when it comes to men, you keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Why? Because you don't even have standards. You haven't even made a demand as to what you expect from at least the bare minimum. You have no form of expectation. You just accept anything and anyone, anyhow. Guys, start to make demands over certain areas of your life. Even, for example, when it comes to work and your career. Maybe you're not necessarily an entrepreneur. Maybe you are in a, a, you know, a nine to five, you are in a traditional role and you are working your way up in this industry. But you feel like you're stuck in the same place. Do you know why 99.9% .9 of the time people get stuck in the same place? is because they do not make demands as to what they expect and they require for their hard work. And that works both ways, by the way. When I say making a demand when it comes to work and your career and let's say how much you get paid or negotiating your contact, contract or anything like that, that doesn't just mean that you stand there expecting them to give you a certain amount and just, you know, standing there and being like, well, I deserve it. No, sorry, but your work has to show that your demands are being met with satisfactory work. You cannot just make the demands and that is it. You just make a demand and you're like, yep, yeah, well, I expect a 20K rise just because. No, it doesn't work like that. Those demands also breed expectation on the other part, on your part. You have to put in the work. You have to make the effort. You have to show up and show out. You have to do that. 
Because when you make a demand and you're, you have a certain level of expectation, like I said before, where you're thinking and your, your ability and your capacity was at one level, all of a sudden it increases because you know that while you're making a demand out there, there's a new level of demand and expectation that is expected of you also. Not just so that you can get there, but so that you can stay there. Because that's the aim, right? The aim is not just to walk through the door to get your foot into the door. The aim is to stay there because <laughs> don't get it twisted. There are also people on this earth that will get hired to a high position and then get fired within a few months because the person realizes that they can't do the job. Don't be that person. Make demands of your life, of your path, of where you are trying to go. But at the very same time, do not negate or neglect the work that is needed because that work is necessary so guys that is it from me guys i felt that one at the depth of my like in the depth of my soul i can't lie to you i really do hope that you felt that and you really understand guys you need to understand everything in this life is constructed how far you go how successful you are what you end up doing everything and i know we live in a time where people want to tell you that it's not it's about external factors and what happened and i get it i never disagree with the fact that there are people that go through things there are some people who go through traumatic experiences that obviously take them on maybe a different path that make things harder for them than maybe the average person i absolutely get it there are different circumstances for different people but i will always stand by my belief that irrespective of where you have come from, every individual has the capacity and the ability. As long as you are living and breathing, as long as you are alive, you have the capacity and the ability to make your life into whatever it is that you want it to be. But it has to start with making a demand, a demand on yourself and a demand on the very things in your life, whether it be work, relationships, career, whatever it is start making demands but anyway i hope guys that you enjoyed today's video as i was saying guys i felt this at the in the depth of my soul so i really do hope that you've taken something away from this if you have please do leave a comment in the comment section below do you know what i would even love i would love for you to make a declaration today to just say i am making a demand and then you can add what it is that you're making a demand of i'm making a demand of myself i'm making a demand on my life i'm making a demand on relationships you know i'm, I'm basically stepping into a place of authority i'm not gonna be just a back you know be at, on the back seat and let life happen and i'm just watching that's not what we're doing anymore i am going to take authority and i'm going to step into that and i'm going to start driving this car and i'm going to make certain demands of myself and of the things around me and i'm going to expect them to happen and on top of that i am not going to sabotage myself in the process okay guys i appreciate you all so very much thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share hit that bell button so you're notified every single time i post a brand new video and of course i'll see you guys again in my next wake up wednesday stay beautiful